Next on our search for America's most over-the-top accommodations is Fall River, Massachusetts. If you think this quaint New England B&B doesn't look extreme, you've got another thing coming. Stay here, and you could get the most terrifying night of your life. This is the Lizzie Borden Bed and Breakfast, one of America's most haunted hotels. This is an evil house. It really is. Some really bad things happen here. I've never slept here, and I've been working here for almost three years. <laughs> Scary. It is frightening. Briefly walking through, I already met up with one entity. 900 thrill seekers a year stay the night in one of Lizzie Borden's eight spooky bedrooms for one reason, to get scared out of their wits. One of the ladies given the tour won't go into the room that I'm staying in for some reason. She won't tell me why. I guess I'll find out tonight. It's very haunted, and it will scare the pants off you. Back in 1892, this became America's most infamous crime scene when Lizzie Borden allegedly killed her father and stepmother in a gruesome hatchet homicide. Her sister and uncle had solid alibis, making Lizzie the prime suspect. They say she murdered her stepmother and her father. You know the little jingle that Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her father 40 wax, and when she saw what she had done, she gave her mother 41. Still remains a mystery that... We don't know who really did the murders. And every room of this B&B bears the stain of that bloody unsolved murder. This is the sitting room. This is the famous room where Mr. Borden was murdered. <laughs> Mr. Borden was lying on the couch, taking a little nap. When the murderer came in, he sustained 10 wounds to the back of his head and the left side of his face. It was so bad, one of his eyes was coming out. This is a very popular room. This room gets booked first because this is Mrs. Borden's murder room. When she saw the murderer coming toward her, the first blow hit her right here. And as she fell, the murderer came around, straddled the body, and gave her another 18 blows for a total of 19 blows. You can see the blood. It had congealed, so she had been murdered quite a while before Mr. Borden. It was a very bloody scene. Now, more than a century later, overnight guests of this most horrifying of boarding houses are reporting some truly disturbing phenomena. The residual energy here is just really overwhelming. I was sleeping on the floor where uh, the mom was killed, and I felt a breathing sensation on my right leg, and I just couldn't explain it. I've heard different things about beds upstairs shaking, people seeing shadowy figures. Down in the basement, there's something very dark and sinister that tends to roam around. But if you don't run screaming, the Lizzie Borden staff will even help you make contact with your phantom hosts on one of their special ghost hunts. This is our first ghost hunting experience, so we're pretty excited. The Lizzie Borden Bed and Breakfast will provide a tour, give them a history, and then we actually do a ghost hunt using the telephones of the dead, which is uh, two-way communication between us and the spirit world. It's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to connect with the spirits here in this location. Who's here with us? Name? Andrew. Yes, he's already here with us. Is this he here in the house? I guess she's coming. She'll be here. Oh, the jail are here. You bet. <laughs> did you touch me on the couch in the parlor? Yes. Yeah. I know he did. He got me out of the <laughs> place that I ran. <laughs> We made communication with Andrew Borden. After seeing the telephone to the dead box tonight, I, I think I believe that it works. Because you're hearing exact answers to your questions. But even if it is white noise, there's no doubt staying at the scariest lodge in America means you'll go home with ghost stories to tell for years to come. Just the history of the house itself kind of lends to being a little bit twitchy. And then, you know, once you get here, there is stuff that goes on that most people can't explain. I would say it's a pretty scary place. As far as the scariest place ever, it's right up there. I don't think I'd want to stay here by myself again. <laughs>